In this short tutorial, we will learn how to install the AdventureWorks database. First, I've gone to Google and I've searched for the AdventureWorks database download. And as of now, it's the first search result here, which takes you to the Microsoft website for AdventureWorks. If you scroll down, you'll see there's various options and versions available. Today I'm going to work with the actual online transaction processing OLTP AdventureWorks 2019 version. It's important to ensure you know the version of SQL Server that you have installed on your computer that you're working with when choosing the download that you want to set up. So in this case I have SQL Server Express set up to the latest version and I'm going to go with the AdventureWorks 2019. Upon downloading it I recommend that you go to your downloads folder uh, and move it to a location that's easier for you to find on your computer after you've downloaded it. So in this case what I've done is I've moved the download on my computer to a folder on my C drive called databases and in my folder you'll see I have various versions of AdventureWorks and the latest one I've downloaded today here is for the 2019 and that's the backup files and so in this video what we're going to do is we're going to use SQL Server Management Studio to do the restore. Um, I've already launched SQL Server Management Studio on my computer and what we're going to do is we're going to connect to the database engine first and here in your connect screen you need to make sure you know your server name which is your computer name and your instance name of SQL Express so during the installation process when I set mine up I called it SQL Express 2019 uh, by default it'll install as SQL Express but in my case I have different versions and if I show you my drop down you'll see I have a few different instances and because of that I wanted to name my most recent version of SQL Express 2019 so when I connect here I'm going to make sure that I'm on version which is 15 for 2019 and you could look that up uh, when you connect to your uh, SQL Express instance you can look up your version number to find out what year you have to make sure for compatibility because if you're trying to restore uh, 2019's version of Ex AdventureWorks you're going to want to make sure you have the most current version of SQL Server Express which is 2019 at this time. Uh, if you had an older version of SQL Express which I happen to have I would not be able to do this restore. Uh, so after we've um, made our connection, we can now right-click databases and choose Restore Database. What we're going to do is we're going to choose a restore device, which is our download file. And we'll click Device. We'll choose the ellipsis here. And now we're going to choose our media. And our media, we have to click Add and locate this on our computer. And this is why I said it's best to move it to an easy to find location out of your downloads folder because when you launch this wizard uh, for SQL Server Management Studio, it's a little confusing, but it's always going to default inside of your um, SQL Server version uh, folder for backups. And unless you've really moved your file there, uh, you're not going to be able to easily find it. And you'll see that that is buried in your program files and under SQL Server quite deep. So I just find it easier if I just go all the way up to my C folder and I look for my database folder and now you can see my backups. And I'm going to choose the AdventureWorks uh, 2019 back file, not the DW one. The DW one's for the data warehouse. And for this installation restore, I just want the online transaction processing. So I'll click OK. And here I will click OK. And you're going to see, tells me the last time the backup was taken, which was June 15th, 2020. And that's when Microsoft updated and published that to their, to their site for us to download it. Uh, we can just verify uh, the information here. 
and make sure everything looks good. Uh, we could go into files and options if you wanted to go into some of the advanced uh, features. We're, we're not going to do that for this uh, video. Uh, for now, we're just going to hit OK. And we're going to let the restore happen. And you'll see the progress up top. If all goes good, we'll get to 100%. And we'll get this message that the AdventureWorks 2019 has been restored successfully. So we now have our database, AdventureWorks 2019 under databases. Uh, we could look some things over. Uh, next thing I like to do is just expand the tables. Uh, just check, make sure everything looks good. Uh, we could quickly do a new query, uh, which I'll do. Just verify that we have some information uh, in one of our entities or our tables. And in this case, I'll just do a quick select count star from our person entity and what I'll do is I'll highlight that and execute it and you'll see that there's 19,972 records there. Uh, so this verifies that the restore worked properly and I have AdventureWorks now set up on my computer to work with for future examples. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below, or you can reach out directly to me uh, going to uh, professorwolf.com, find my contact information. Uh, additionally, uh, you know, please subscribe to my channel and look forward to future SQL Server videos. Thank you.